Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I got a video for you on how to get better at programming logic. I don't know if this means programming logic or programming logic. Either way. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into that though, I do want to take a moment to let you know about one of the awesome sponsors that we have at Simple Programmer, which is Hired. So, if you go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer, here's what you can do. You can check it out if you're interested in a job. Maybe you're not interested in a job. Go check out at least their application process and, and, and see what it's like because it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But basically what they do is that they let you fill out this one application and then they'll have employers that will actually contact you and reach out to you for, get this, interviews, which is, that's, that's what's cool about this, right, is that they're actually gonna give you interview requests and tell you what the salary ranges are, or basically what the salary is gonna be for, for the job so that you can kind of filter this out. So this is a great way to do a job search. Now, they might not be in your area, right? They might not be looking for your skill set, so don't get all upset if you get if you don't get accepted to their platform. They're very very picky, but if you have the qualifications and you're a good match for companies, right? Rather than you blasting all these resumes, it's it's a great it's a great opportunity. So go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer. If you do that, also you'll get double the sign on bonus. Normally, when you get a job to them, they give you a thousand dollars. If you use that link, the simple programmer one, you'll get two thousand. Anyway. Uh, I love Hired, they're pretty awesome. I've actually had a chance to chat with them and, and I just really like what they're doing. So uh, go check them out if you if you want to, you know, and just, just see, just see what it's like. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into how to be better at programming logic, how to get better at programming logic. So I got this question and he says, hey John, I have been following your videos for quite some time and I have learned C and C++ programming languages. Obviously, you didn't watch my video on not to learn C, on how do I learn C, <laughs> just kidding, or C++. Uh, and, and he says, but whenever I went to a new uh, uh, instruction uh, instructor, he tells me the language can be learned by anyone, but the logic is where you have to focus, okay? So can you tell me how to get better at programming logic? Thank you very much. So what I think that your instructor is talking about is that Anyone can learn a language, right? Anyone can learn how to write code and, and understand the, the syntax of a language. But what's difficult and what the real skill is, is how can you use that language? What is the, the logic that you can create with that? I call this algorithms. I've done quite a few videos on algorithms. If you're interested on learning algorithms and getting better at those, check out this playlist here on programming algorithms, on whether you need to learn algorithms, how to learn them, cracking the coding interview, all of that stuff. But I wanna talk, I wanna go a little bit meta here and talk in the, in the bigger sense about what it means to be good at programming logic or, or how, to, how to learn that. Basically, right, when you learn a programming language, what a lot of people do is they, they try to study the syntax. They try to you know, go through the reference manual and understand all of the examples and what all the commands do and understand the syntax. And it's a very, very difficult way to learn. I'll give you a little bit of a story, a little bit of an example here. So I used to play I'll admit it. And this was, you know what? This was one of the most fun things that I ever did in my life, actually. I was just reflecting on this. I was like, man, you know what was the most fun time I ever had in my life? I think it was, honestly, playing Magic the Gathering tournaments. <laughs> I, I really think so. It was just so much fun, just like collecting the cards and going through. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a geek, all right? But, you know, I'm a software developer. So, even though I got biceps. Here's the thing, okay? When I played Magic the Gathering, I memorized so many cards, like I knew exactly what these cards did, I memorized the mechanics of the game, like I had all of this information in my head and just like a ridiculous amount of information. Like it was not, I didn't sit down and try to memorize these cards and what they did and what their attributes were, okay? I just automatically got all that stuff just from playing the game and from obsessing over, over this game, honestly. I was obsessing about it. So. My point is this, that's why I'm saying this, is that if I had tried, if I had tried to memorize magic cards, man, that would have been a grueling headache. If I said, okay, I wanna be a good magic player, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna memorize all the magic cards, let's just start drilling this into my brain, and, and then when I have them all memorized, then I'll have a big arsenal of tools that I can use to play this card game. 
It doesn't work that way, okay? But that's what a lot of people try to do with programming is they try to say, okay, I'm gonna learn this language. And once I learn the language and I know the ins and outs of the language, then I can use the language, then, then I can use that tool. And, and see, that's, it's the wrong way because you gotta play, you gotta have fun. That's how you learn best, right? We always learn best by having fun, by playing. And so if you want to, if I wanted to learn the magic cards, I didn't even have to try. What I had to do was I had to do something with them. I had to play the game. So if you wanna learn programming, if you wanna learn the, the language better, how to use it, the logic of it, you gotta use it. You gotta use it in the application of solving something, right? I talk about this all the time. If you've ever heard me talk about how to learn things and how to, how to learn effectively, in fact, in my course on 10 steps to learn anything quickly, if you haven't checked that out, you might wanna check that out. I talk about this a lot, is this idea that you gotta play and you, you always have to, whenever you're learning something, this is just critical, it needs to be, I wanna learn X so I can do Y. So you gotta try, you gotta put it in action, right? You gotta do Y. We learn best that way. There, it's, a, it's a learning myth to say that some of us are auditory, some of us are visual, and some of us are kinesthetic learners. But you didn't know I was gonna pull that word out of my ass, kinesthetic. But what I mean is that, that it's, it's a myth. There, there's no learning styles. We all learn best by doing. And so, if you wanna learn programming logic, okay, if you wanna to learn to become a better programmer, if you wanna really learn a programming language, don't learn the syntax. Don't just go through the reference manual, don't just do some minor exercises. Instead, pick some kind of thing that you're gonna build. Pick, pick some kind of application, a small project, start small, okay, and build it and then, and then say, oh, I, I, you know, you, you've skimmed through their reference manual. You've, you've gone through, you know, you can go through my 10 steps program if you, if you really want the kind of in-depth steps, but I'm giving you the short of it, which is basically like, you, you go and you, you say, huh, I need to lay a brick right here. Damn, I need a tool to do that. How, what kind of tool? So then you go and you look up, oh, oh, I see, I need a loop. I could do a loop. Hmm, how about a for loop? And then you place the for loop in there, right? And you, you trowel it over and you're like, oh shit, that works. And now you understand how a for loop works, right? You, you've got the understanding. You've actually developed the, the sense of, of using that language. That's, that's the logic that you're after. That's, that's learning the programming logic, right? That's so much different than saying, I'm gonna study for loops and I'm gonna study do while loops and I'm gonna study all this stuff and then hopefully I'll remember this stuff so I can apply it when I need to use it. Instead, you go and you say, how can I, I need to use this stuff first and let me go get the stuff, right? And that's, that's how it works. It's the same thing as learning the magic cards from, from playing the game versus trying to memorize the cards. So if you wanna get good, if you wanna learn programming logic, Pick some small applications, do little projects, do them, use the language, use the features, and that, that's gonna force you, you're gonna have to write the logic to do that, but it'll be for a purpose, right? If you just do drills and you just do exercises, not that, that that doesn't help you, deliberate practice is a good thing, but for the basic understanding, getting the logic, getting the learning, and really learning something, understanding something, that's, there's a difference between learning and, and understanding, but to understand something, you have to use it in in action where it's applicable. So create a project, do something that's gonna require you to have that skill, then utilize that skill and bam, then it goes into that understanding place. Okay, by the way, if you wanna get one of these t-shirts, I'm gonna start telling you about this now that they're on sale. I finally, some of you have been looking at my t-shirt here. Uh, go ahead and click here and you can get one of the t-shirts here at the Simple Programmer store. If you like this video, I have a request for you. Click that subscribe button below and you'll get all my videos. I do a ton, a ton of videos. You don't have to watch them all, but you can collect them all by clicking subscribe. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.